Hello, welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 55 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, we are going to craft an Ender Chest. An Ender Chest is a new item that was added in Minecraft 1.3, and it essentially functions very much like a normal chest would, in that you can open it and store your prize possessions in it, such as so oh, string and spider eye and blocks of dirt. <laughs> Etc. Etc. If you're pack rat like me, then pretty much anything goes, right? However, the neat thing about an ender chest is that um, the contents of it are shared across all other ender chests. So if you have more than one, no matter where you open it, even across dimensions, it'll work in the nether, the end, and the surface world. It'll have the same contents as all the other ender chests scattered around your world. So that is pretty cool stuff, and we are going to craft two of them today. So, and I'll show you more how this thing works later once we we get them crafted up and placed and so forth. Um, but before we can do that, we need to collect the resources to make these two little guys. And for that, we need eight obsidian per chest and two eyes of ender. So I've got my blaze rod for the blaze powder, and we'll break that down later. But I, we need to go out and collect some more obsidian, obviously, and a couple of um, ender pearls so that's going to be about the first half of this or maybe the first two-thirds of this episode and then we'll craft them up and we'll demonstrate so let's hop on a boat um, let's make sure we have what we need so if you are following along or you want to follow along you can download this world um, there's a link in the description down below and you'll have all of these items all ready to go you want to bring at least two buckets of water um, I would recommend fire resistance potions because we are going to be near the lava. We're gonna we're gonna go down deep into the earth, and we're going to be traipsing around um, large pools of hot magma. <laughs> Good idea to bring that. Bring a bunch of torches, and um, maybe some sand or gravel for getting up and down, to use as the uh, gravel express elevator, and then some cobble for blocking water and lava and so forth. And uh, obviously your other tools here, you, you will need a diamond pick, absolutely, to, um, to collect obsidian. You need a diamond pickaxe for that. I think we're ready to go. I'm not going to bring any pets on this journey because anytime you're near lava, it's uh, usually it ends in um, trauma. <laughs> any kind of pet, the dogs fall into ravines and die, and the cats just seem to like to swim in the lava. So, sorry guys. I'm going solo on this job. So go ahead and pop a boat out of your new boat dispenser there at the boathouse and just follow along if you are following along with this map. I'll be back for you. Oh, I'm going to get that boat. I was talking to the chicken, not the boat, but I'll be back for both. <laughs> All right, so just take your boat over here to the very other end of this little lagoon. And we are going to head down into this pit right here. And this is going to lead down to a lot of lava. I've already done a little bit of exploration here. Um, so I know exactly where to go. I don't want to waste your time with this. So just follow along. And then once we get down there, we'll start. Uh, I'll harvest up the, uh, the obsidian. And then hopefully we'll run into some, some bad guys down here. Some enders. Some enders. Some endermen. And then we can steal their pearls. And if not, we'll go over to my favorite hunting grounds for the Enderman. So here we go, down into this hole, go around the corner, and then look for this water right there. All right, by the way, if it sounds like there's a herd of elephants here with me, uh, there isn't. That's just my family. They're upstairs. I'm in the basement down in my office slash men cave. And uh, this microphone picks up every noise in the house. So. Anyway, moving on, um, again, if you're using my world, you're going to follow this water. Uh, do not follow the water down that way. You want to stay to the right, down into this tunnel, and just make a stair down here, nice safe stair. And if you are using your own world, the whole idea here, the, the purpose behind this exercise is to get down to the lowest levels of the map to find some nice settled lava. Lots of lava pools down here. We should be able to find some uh, naturally created obsidian and we won't even have to create it ourselves. So, um, if you are using my map, you should see that interesting little fountain there in the center of that chamber. And hello, creeper. I see you. You're not fooling anybody, you know. So just be careful here. It's really dark and filled with bad guys. And there's also a ravine right here, so watch your step. Do not follow the water down. You'll end up um, heading right where that guy's going to go. Oh, me too. Okay, nope. <laughs> we want to go down this way. And if I were you, I would get a sword prepared and have them right next to your torches and just hop right into the elevator 
and flow down. Put some torches out as you flow down to the very bottom and hopefully there's no creepers at the bottom. I don't have any, thankfully. And from here, we want to go down one more level. We could do some sniping. It looks, it looks safe from here, but I hear lots of thrashing around. All right, just head on down. No biggie. All right, we're clear. And we want to go that way. I'm going to put two torches here that indicates the way back up. And I'm going to grab some cobble right here and just block off this water. And there we go. Lots of obsidian. That's plenty, more than enough. And I don't even have to use my water buckets to make it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this quickly. Um, I need eight. I need 16 total obsidian, so it's eight per. Uh, it's eight per ender chest. I've got six. I'm going to need ten more. And even with a pick with efficiency, this still takes about 15 to 20 seconds to mine. Yeah, look at that, crazy. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this quickly, and uh, I'll speed it up. So here we go. Okay, 16, we're good to go. Now, I just want to show you a little bonus down here. If we go around the corner, turn that into obsidian so we can get through here safely. And let's just, let's just block this off if I can so I can move around. And you should see this little chamber here. You might want to light it up a bit. Lapis there, but da -da. Diamond, lovely, let's grab it. Lots of growling, swimming, thrashing. Oh, by the way, you... Oh, Enderman, I just heard Enderman. You now get experience when you mine... Ow. Certain ores, or gems. That's Minecraft 1.3. That's new with Minecraft 1.3, rather. And there's an Enderman down here. If I could find that Enderman and get an Ender Pearl right now, save me the trouble later. But he seems to have teleported away. All right, I'm going to work my way back to the surface. Same way I came in here. Right back up, and I will see you topside. Oh, wait a minute. Got somebody on my elevator. Uh, coming down? All right, I'll see you at the top. Okay, perfect. It's night time, and now I need two Ender Pearls. So as you can see, Ender Chests are not easy to make. They are very expensive in terms of resources that you must collect, and they're not the easiest of resources to find and collect. So um, you're not going to have a lot of Ender Chests, or maybe you will. Depends. Depends on how persistent and dedicated you are. I know I won't. <laughs> but I'm going to go over here now and see if I can find some Endermen. And I'm probably not going to record all this. It's going to take way too long. Um, they're hard enough to find as it is. I very rarely ever see them. And there's really no sense in doing this um, on film. So what you need to do is find Endermen. Get two Ender Pearls. We're going to mix that with the Blaze Rods to make the Eyes of Ender. And then uh, I'll meet you back at Cozy Cottage. So stay tuned. Okay, I am back. And it took me two game nights and five Endermen to get my two pearls. But I got them. And as you know, in this series, in my tutorial series, I like to do this legitimately if I can and show as much of the process as possible um, from start to finish, from A to Z. 
Um, that's why I show the collection and how I get things, but we've done Ender Pearls before, so we know how to get those. There's really no sense in showing you again. Um, but I did want to show you where the, the those diamonds were, and that was part of that process of why we went down there. Anyway, let's uh, let's go ahead and just craft these guys up. Oh wait, no, we need to take our blaze rods and turn that into blaze powder. Ender pearls into eyes of ender. And now we're going to take our obsidian. I have ender in the center, and that's pretty much it. There's your ender chest. I'm going to go ahead and craft both right now. And they do stack. That's lovely. And now it's important that you consider where you place your ender chest, because once you put it down... You can take it back, and you can break it with any old pick. You don't need a diamond pick to get it back. But once you place it, um, when you break it down, when you when you try to take it with a pick, it breaks into eight obsidian, and you don't get your eye back. So that's kind of poopy. But that's the way it is. So like I said, they're expensive to make. So make sure you think about your placement. So I'm going to put one right here, right next to my bed. I'll put my expensive belongings in here. I'm thinking my precious metals and gemstones. And just like any old chest, just open it up with a right click and you can see the magical uh, ender, the nether particle effect there. And they actually do give off light too, just a little bit. So if you get rid of these torches, let me show you. Okay. <laughs> you can't really see it, but it's like a little bit of a night light. Okay. So, here's the cool thing about ender chests. As you can see, I've put that stuff in there. Why don't we throw a spider eye in there, too? Just for demonstration. And then, I'm going to go put another ender chest, the other one, up at... Um, why don't we go... Why don't we go to the nether? So, some uses for this would be um, across dimensions. Um, obviously, in locations where... You're going to spend a lot of time. And uh, the nice thing is you don't have to continue, continually hunt down your items in every chest like I do. I, since I have chests scattered all over the place, you can have one set of items that you use often. And those can be stored in your ender chest. So let's go here to the nether. And why don't we go put this up here. Ooh, a little lag loading up. What is in here now? Not much. Okay, I will just put it, for now, we'll just put it right here in this corner. And open it up, and voila! All the stuff that's up in my bedroom is here as well. Pretty cool stuff. So I will never be without my diamonds, or my gold, or my lovely spider eye. But you know what? If I take the spider eye and I go back up, it'll be gone. Now, here's another cool thing about this. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to break this down for demonstration purposes. I mean, this is all in the name of science, right? Sadly, I'm going to have to build myself. I'm going to have to get another eye of ender. But, um, well, while I'm here, I can get a blaze rod, I guess. So now, if I break this, this inventory is persistent to the world, to your character. And unlike a normal chest... Um, when you break a chest, all the stuff, all the contents spill out all over the floor. Not so with an ender chest. The stuff is still assigned to the ender chest. Even if I go back to the other world and destroy the one in my bedroom, um, all that stuff is still going to be in there. You'll have to make a new one to get it back. The stuff never spills out if you break the chest. So I think, well, I guess that about covers it, really. Um, there really isn't much more to say about it. Except that you can actually, let's say, for example, I had one more Eye of Ender. I would build this guy, put the Eye of Ender, get my Ender chest, and I could carry it in my inventory. And that would give me an additional 27 slots. I would lose this one slot. So it would be like carrying a backpack with another 26 slots in it. So it's not a bad thing to travel around with. And uh, the only problem is once you put it down, you'll still have to get it back. Um, so again, Eyes of Ender now have uh, even more value. Um, so go kill Enderman. What more can I say? Endermen now have a huge price on their heads. And do I have the right skin on? Who am I today? I'm Steve! What the heck? Looks like the... Uh... Huh. 
Looks like the skin servers or something are down. The login servers. That happened the other day. I didn't even notice because I'm wearing all this armor. I'm Steve today. So this tutorial was brought to you by Steve and not Paul Source Jr. I hope you enjoyed. And uh, until next time, have fun with your ender chests, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see you in the next episode. And again, if this, um, if this tutorial helped you in any way, a thumbs up is appreciated. And that helps my channel out. So... Um, feel free to go ahead and do that. If you disliked it for any reason, give it a dislike and let me know in the comments so that I can work on my craft and get even better. All right, take care, everybody. We'll see you around. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm back only because I know this is going to come up in the comments. Uh, there is another way to get your ender chest and pick it up without it breaking into eight obsidian and losing your ender eye, and that's with a pick that has, um, that has silk touch. I do not have a pick like that, so you have to enchant a pick. And if you do get lucky enough to get Silk Touch on your uh, pick, then... Oh, I'm me again. Oh, it's me. Hi. Um, then... <laughs> then when you break your, your Ender Chest, you'll get it back and all the belongings inside. So, um... Hi. Yes, it's the familiar face. It's me. Yes, it's me. I have, I have eliminated the imposter. Steve is no longer with us. So I'm back. Good to see you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.